Hello everyone. Welcome to the Java web application development course for beginners. My name is Muhammadu Bob and I will be your instructor. This course is a guide for entry level Java web application developers as well as students who aspire to become future Java web application developers. To start, let me give you a little bit of background about Java technology. The Java technology stack is fairly large and extensive because Java offers several different technologies to build all kinds of software applications. You can build desktop Java desktop applications with Java, which are applications that are deployed on client machines. So imagine you have a company with several employees. So if you want your employees to use a Java desktop application, you have to deploy this application in each client machine. These Java desktop applications are also commonly known as swing applications. As opposed to desktop applications, you can also build Java web applications. Java web applications, on the other hand, are deployed on web servers, and each client can access the web application from their browser. A good example of this is a company intranet website. So the company intranet website is deployed on a web server and the client, the users, access this application from the web browser. You also have Java mobile applications, which is the new trend. Mobile applications are deployed on mobile devices such as smartphones and tablets. So when you decide to learn the Java technology, you have to choose a learning path. This is very important because it is difficult to learn all these technologies all at once. I believe this is the reason why at times it can be very challenging for beginners to learn the Java technology because of the challenges they can face by not choosing the proper learning path. But regardless of which type of Java technology you want to learn, you have to start with learning the language essentials and this include first the Java language fundamentals which include variables, arrays, data types, operators and loops. And you also have to learn the object oriented programming principles and concepts which includes classes and objects, interfaces, inheritance, polymorphism, and encapsulations. And you also have to learn a very important feature of the Java technology, which is the Java Collections Framework, which include list, set, map, and queue. The Java Collections framework includes these different types of data structures. I cannot stress enough how important it is to know and understand the Java Collections framework. I can assure you that nearly all the Java developer jobs I have interviewed for over the years I have been questioned extensively on the Java Collections Framework. So this is a very important concept to understand and I cannot stress it enough. 
So regardless of all these different technologies, like I mentioned, Java desktop application, Java web application, Java mobile applications, you have to know the foundation, which include these language fundamentals, the object-oriented programming principles and concepts, and the Java collections framework. But in this course, obviously, we are interested solely on Java web applications. So what are Java web applications or web applications in general? So to explain this concept, consider you have a client who is operating on a machine and you have a web server. And the web server hosts a web application, a website. And the client typically makes a request, an HTTP request to the web server to access the web application. And the web, the web server processes the client request and returns a HTTP response. Now the HTTP response most of the time is in the form of HTML, which will be displayed on the client browser. In the next lecture, we will discuss about the architecture and the different components of a Java web application. So see you next time in the next lecture.